Fake mustache. I mean, I want to see. Where did that come from? Damn. God damn. This splash shark goes hard though. My, my God. Oh, it's hard to tell. There's even changes on Garden in the Sands. Yeah, I'm missing the orbs connecting the tails. Kind of a shame, but. It all, other than that, it looks almost identical. Let's check him out, shall we? What did the Skarner do, huh? I mean, he looks cool. He looks big. Passive threat. <coughs> Skarner's attack shattered earth upheaval and impale apply quaking to enemies. Enemies with three stacks of quake take max percent HP. Damage. Oh, the fabled three hit passive is back. Yeah, well, he's got a built-in Leandries. Kind of. Crystals are gone. Yeah, no spires. This hopefully means that Skarner Top can be played again, right? Like, because I, I like, I enjoy playing Skarner Top sometimes, so hopefully this means you can actually do it. Shattered Earth Upheaval. Skarner rips a rock out of the ground and uses it to empower his next three attacks with bonus damage, range and attack speed. His third attack slams the rock into his target, slowing and dealing significant bonus damage and the effect. That's kind of cool. To just pick up a boulder. That is certainly very different from his current key, which is designed to just button mash. So you won't have to just like, like, like you're just spamming the Q button with with current Skarner. Gains a shield, slams into the ground, releasing the shockwave that damages and slows nearby enemies. So it's more than just a shield now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Rewind time. Hold on, I want to see that again. Wee. Thank you. <laughs> he has a men go in move. Oh my god, he, they did it. Skarner charges forward, ignoring terrain, then grabs the first enemy champion or large mon or large hey, monster he collides with. So you can Thank use the jungle clear. That makes sense. So that you get like a little warning. Wasn't it, I swear in the initial preview he would like pick up his rock, didn't he? Like when he charges through the wall, he'd pick up a rock. So I guess they removed that. Maybe they found it was too strong. Oh, you can probably like press Q while you're in the wall, right? Yeah, because then you could probably, you could pick up a wall here and, and get the Q and then Q immediately again. That seems like that'd be kind of broken. Oh, what the? Scarter pales up to three. Scarter pales up to three enemy champions, damaging and suppressing them. Uh, so <laughs> Skarner gains bonus movement speed for a short time and carries them with him until the end of the effect. Note, you can't cast Q, E, or Flash during the ult. You can pull enemies over walls. Okay, so imagine this. Because you can pull over walls, say this is the dragon wall, you just pull them over and then you E through the wall. <laughs> it's like, get out of the pit. I will say... There's a big cast time now, and it seems shorter than before. That does not feel it lasts like nearly as long as it do oh, as it no. does now. But I guess he has he has a lot more slowing and crowd control now. Oh, we get some game. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> it looks so goofy. Oh, Scranner gank throws the boulder. Tiamat rush. Oh, Scranner. <laughs> does he have PTA? He has pressed the is Skarner of like a bruiser now instead of a tank? You know what I didn't know? They're trying to make him like a juggernaut, I bet you. They're trying to make him like an actual juggernaut. He can go bruiser tank coin uh van. Okay, I mean that's what he can do now, so that's good. Jump to the tower, yes! Go to the tower! <laughs> no, uh, it was a fun idea. Can you grab Kane out of the wall? I imagine he Oh yeah, wait, how's that interaction gonna work? What if he grab? Will he just like immediately jump to the other side, or what? How, how will that work? What did I just? Oh, 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 oh disgusting! Oh, they get. He's got the same. He <laughs> Tremble before me! Oh, he got mouth animations. He's actually like dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, Crab Rabes. Didn't TFT get permission to use the Crab Rabe song? Why not let League do that? Like, have like a very muffled version of the Crab Rabe song hey, playing. Have a one in one thousand oh. chance to get Crab Rabe. That'd be fun. Like a fun little Easter egg. That'd be funny. 
Okay. Okay, I the you can't he's stop really the fast. It's what? So nice. He's got this like 300 foot tall scorpion crab running at you at Mach 50. Imagine with Zillion. Oh, I wonder if he scales with movement speed. Damn. Okay, Scarter got combos. He got skill expression now. Damn. Okay, wait, I was just trying to find stuff on Skarner. What the hell is this? What do you mean rioters can't monetize their streams if they're playing the for the company they work for? What does Riot benefit from by doing this? From? Is this just because they don't want rioters to stream League of Legends? Yeah, what about Mortdog, dude? Dude, Mortdog puts in more effort than I think it's like he is so active in the community because he streams so much short bow for Skarder the primordial sovereign the ancient Bracker and Scar oh, there we go see still Bracker okay is revered in Ishtal as one of the founding members <laughs> of its ruling uh, <laughs> cast in the Yuntal and is devoted to keeping Ishtal safe from the rest of the world by maintaining the region's isolation as more members of the Yuntal begin to question this decision, Skarner grows increasingly paranoid and will do anything to keep Ishtal's people safe, no matter it. the cost. So he, he is like a nationalist boomer, basically. <laughs> Ishtal is so great, and uh, none of you uh, leave. You can see some of the skins. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, it's just Earth Rune. <laughs> As part of the VGU update, Earth is going to bring the skin up to par with modern ones, so we're increasing the price of its tier to deluxe. What the hell is a deluxe skin? They say that. But, like, they didn't do that for this. Crab God is arguably, like, as good as an epic tier skin, and they didn't increase the price. Yeah, Surprise Party Fiddle is legitimately as good as a Legendary now, and it's still 975. That is very strange why they're doing that. I mean, it's not like a massive price jump, like 520 to 750. They're not charging Epic Tier, but it's still weird why they do that ever. They've never done that with a Vigiu till now, so I'm kind of expecting big things from this. Does it have like new sounds and new particle effects and stuff? Like, is it? I don't know. Seems weird to me. I mean, he looks great, though. It feels like we've been waiting for this for so from? long that it doesn't feel Find real that he's more actually about here. The price increase by Googling Scarner inflation. No.